some separate checks and I brought my calculator. Oh, good. We will. You guys are rabbit soup. And I got your food kit. Oh, right. Let's go, girls. Come on. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. Gonna let it all hang out. Wanna make some noise. Really raise my voice. Yeah, I wanna scream and shout. Welcome to National Geographic. I'm your host, Mercedes Emblem, and this is my co-host, Grim Outlook. <coughs> Grim says hello. Today we are in southern Tampa, which used to be southern Fort Myers. We are looking at an ancient cult that once lived here. In the trees behind us, we have ancient ornaments and clothing that the people used to wear. Grim here, he is an expert in the field of ancient clothing, and I... I am happy to say that I know quite a lot about the ancient ornaments that these strange people made so long ago. <laughs> he says he's glad to be here. Now we shall go to, and I'll tell you about some of the ornaments we have here. Here we have the lollipop man. He was made using pipe cleaners and feathers and styrofoam. Obviously, quite a genius created this. And... Oh, back here, we have the nose brace, I think is what this would be called. Made by quite an artistically declined person. And um, another one. We don't know exactly what this is. I think it's supposed to be a person, but I'm not quite sure. But enough about the ornaments. We shall now go to Grimm, and he shall tell you about the ancient clothing that is hanging Right, the tree, right in these trees behind us. <laughs> I agree. This is worn by a mentally disturbed individual. <laughs> and the one behind it was worn by quite a sane, artistic person. <laughs> and yes, I, I know. It's quite lovely. Oh, and... And what do you say about this one, Grim? <laughs> oh, that's a funny joke. Yes, yes, it's it's also probably worn by a mentally disturbed person. Oh, and what about this lovely one back here? Oh, you love it. Oh, me too. I'd wear that any day. Now we are going to go to live interviews with Copus and... I think, is this my hair? Yes, we have an actual person.
person who participated in these rituals available to speak to. I'm so excited. Please return after this commercial break and you'll see more. Thank you, Grim. This is Bambi Wang, live from the Vatican. I am prepared to make a statement about the recent find in Fort Myers. As a church, we always try to um, understand other civilizations and what they mean to us as in our world and as a historical and religious value. However, I believe I speak for the entire world when I say we are shocked and revolted by the recent find. Yes, Grim, as you know, croquet was banned long ago. This right here, the croquet mallet, became a weapon. Therefore, therefore, croquet was banned many years ago. It is believed that it became a fanatic cult of people. <coughs> yes, it's true. We believe that there were massacres. We have found t-shirts. We have found ornaments. We have not yet found the body. And we believe that we will come across bodies here in South Fort Myers. Thank you, Graham. This is Bambi. Wasn't that exciting hearing from the Popus herself? I'm sure Graham was so excited to be able to be in her presence. Now, I am here with Daniel Rathman. Rathman, is that right? Yeah. I heard it was Byrne, you know. Oh, I think yeah. he's Daniel. He actually participated in these ancient rituals with the uh, contraband that the Pope mentioned. Not sure how he came across that, but I'll ask him. So, how did you become involved with these croquet games? Well, it, it was all my family. All my family, my folks and my aunts and uncles and um, all of them, they got it started. Really? That's quite interesting. And uh, I see you have a bunny, a rabbit here. Can can, can you zoom in a little? That's my trophy. I won that. I won that. Really? One. One. Interesting. I had the best hat and the best game. I, I heard, though, that um, your brother, Eric, Eric um, won that consecutively for many, many years. That's not true. I won it. I deserved it. Didn't he come to an untimely death by being pushed into the shallow water off the dock? Nobody knows how that happened, okay? Nobody knows how that happened. All right. Um, and what about your other brother, John? How is he? Dead, too. I'm sorry. Um, he thought he was going to win in one year. Didn't happen. No, you're asking me a lot of questions. Obviously, this interview has taken a wrong turn. We'll be back get, after the interview. Get out of here! Welcome back. That was uh, quite an ordeal we just went through. Thanks to Grandma. The whole crew is alive. <laughs> yes, um, well, tune in next week when we learn about the ancient culture of cars. Yes, wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> You're quite funny. Well, <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I don't know. I'm not doing this show anymore. It's just getting ridiculous. Uh, oh, you think you're fine. Uh, We're starting the new millennium 
Island documentary on December 29, 1999. This trip is to investigate rumors of the Mad Hatter incident and allegations of the recent Mad Hatter sighting. Mad Hatter is rumored to have started in the mid-1980s and vanished without a trace at the turn of the 1990s. Originally, the incidents were reported to have occurred in a quiet central Illinois town of Fairbury. We were quite surprised to hear about this recent sighting in southern Florida. Once we get our gear together, we're going to start out early in the morning, and hopefully we'll be able to find out if there's any truth in this crazy rabbit rumor. Very good. I'm recording. I want to get for posterity the Mad Hatter incident on tape and catch the very essence of our emotions as we investigate the sighting. I think posterity is a pretty strong word. I think it's a big waste of time. Screw you. But I'd like to ask you real quick. I'm here in Fairbury interviewing people about the Mad Hatter Project. I'm wondering if you know anything about this Mad Hatter. I heard about it, but my mother never said to talk about it. Are you sure we're in Georgia? I know this this route like the back of my hand. I drive it every year. Well, that sign just said Ozark Land. Do you have a map? I didn't bring the map. Why don't you get it out? I didn't bring the map. You were supposed to bring the map. Are we lost? I never bring a map. And you turn that thing off. Whoa! Oh, yeah. We're recording the nightlife here at one of the local stops on the Mad Hatter tour. Checking things out. The beautiful car. What, what's on my car? Dirt. Lots of dirt. Dang, you think you should be touching that? What is it? I don't know. It must be like some Kentucky oh, good luck charm or losers. something. Losers. Leave that crap. I need some, I need some chocolate milk. Have you got any? freak event or something. Oh my what? god, what's this? The big one back here. Eric, seems a little sacrilegious. What if that was left by the Mad Hatter? I think this should be a sign. I think you're weird. We're on the right track here. <laughs> We're doing what we need to do to find this silly rumor out. Did you lock the car? Yeah. Should we maybe check and look for any sticks or any craziness going on in here? Getting in the car as we speak. Can you shut that thing off, please? Well, no, you know, I mean, we just found, I think we found the first traces, what are you doing? Of our Mad Hatter. What are you doing? Get in the car. Wondering why you keep recording. Because it's time to record. Turn it off. Come on, get in the car. I can't. What? <sighs> Fine, be that way. We're fading into Eric Stull, one of the locals of the Mad Hatter tourney. Sir, what are your earliest memories of Mad Hatter? Well, I seem to recall back in the day, I recall the little watercolor thing that Aunt Carla painted that said Mad Hatter. It's like a formal thing at the gate at Grandma Stall's. And I remember Grandma and Carly and I think Grandma Giancarlo was there on the front porch, sitting watching all the insanity. And uh, remember, remember one year Uncle Joe had the McDonald's hat. And I remember the, it seemed like the next year Christian Carly had the Christmas tree extension cord extravaganza. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And I remember I always had crappy hats. I don't know what that was all about. I vaguely recall in the history of this rumor seeing a hat where you were wearing a sombrero. What kind of crap was that? That was a crappy hat. Yeah. I see. That was stuffed with Danny's pull toys and it made little music. And I don't know. I have no idea what I was thinking. It's puberty or something. Puberty. Hmm. So what do you think about this rumor of the recent Mad Hatter sighting? you think we're going to find anything? No. Matter of fact, that image I saw of the Mad Hatter in that video last year didn't look anything like the Mad Hatter. This Mad Hatter looked old, decrepit. Kind really? Of, kind of ugly, too. Did you notice? Well, you know, I had my thoughts, but I just wasn't sure what to think of that new person. Uh, you're, I... not, you're not familiar with the original, original Mad Hatter. It's more of a spirited individual. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how it is with these mentally unstable people. you got to be careful what you say to them. Remember, remember when you saw Julia Child and you asked who was that big guy? Did that remind you? <laughs> uh, so did you pick up any of our souvenirs left for us, quite possibly, by the Manhattan? 
I think those are too sinister for the Mad Hatter. I threw them away. That's a bad omen. So, what do you think of this year's standings as far as, you know, the little tournament and the rumors about how this Mad Hatter takes no hostages and stuff? I think Joey Giancarli started all those. I think he's going down. You think? I'm going to be the guy who takes him down. Well, I guess we'll find out in just a few short hours, probably by tomorrow night. Thursday night? Friday night. Oh. This video is going to be so awesome. I can't believe we're getting this. <laughs> All on tape. I can see your earwax. <laughs> any further words of wisdom for any youngsters? Watch out. Someday the... The gauntlet challenge will be passed down to the younger generation and we'll have to show up our our uh, elders as far as how to throw a man at her party. Mm. And uh, I think we'll be in perfect place to do that. Well, we should probably get some sleep. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Oh yeah, I'm going to go right to sleep. <laughs> I don't know that these big semis would approve of any such action. I'm sure the semis wouldn't care. It'd be the ditch that might mind. to Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. Been asleep for a while. Oh my god. Eric, didn't you throw away those sticks we found? Yeah, pitch them right out the back of the car. Honey? What? There's sticks in the back of our car. Did you put them there? Talk about it. Eric, what are those and how did they get in this car? Oh my god. Somebody get in the car? Eric, I'm over? not kidding. How did they get there? This is not funny somebody, anymore. Somebody steal something out of here? Eric, this is so not funny. Oh, my God. What do you want to do? Uh, let, uh, I'm on a bridge. Let, pull over. Get, I'm just on a bridge. get out of here. Get at the house where the Mad Hatter sighting is rumored to have taken place. All right, I'm going to go see. We're going to go in and explore. Hey, see what's going on. What? There's a mallet here. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. That's kind of creepy. You think? Uh oh. What? What do you see? There's some stuff here. I'll, I'll bet the man had is back here. What? What is this, honey? Where are you going? Eric? Oh my god. Eric? 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 Eric, where are you? Honey? This is really freaking me out. Where are you? Eric? Where are you going? Eric, are you alright? 